Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play 7th Saga. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. I leveled up. I leveled up quite a bit. I checked out where I should be with stat-wise. And by the way, where I had to look up a chart. Because, uh, you know, it's one of those situations where it's like, oh, hey, we might as well see where we are in the game. Now, for some reason, I checked out said chart. And my stats before this whole level up at level 23 were for magic anyways was 69 or 68 rather haha ha, yes uh the actual average that it should have been for the base us game without any mods or anything is 69 so i was only slightly below average but i was below average for the guy with the big dick magic casty spell things So that's a thing. Anyways, I had leveled up because I was getting sick of dying. And I learned two spells. I learned protect, which automatically uh, prevents a mirror effect, a instant death by vacuum effect, as though you were ca uh, carrying around a harp, or insta petrification effect, as though you were carrying around a mirror. Later in the game, I don't know why you wouldn't be carrying around a full stack of those, so kind of useless, unless you ran out. Now this, on the other hand, is 100% going to help me level slash get through the rest of the game. This is Vacuum 2. Much like Vacuum 1, it causes instant death. But unlike Vacuum 1, it causes instant death on every one of the enemies. Oh yeah. One casting, 60 MP, to kill all th one to three enemies. I probably won't spend it on any less than two, but regardless. So we had not actually spoken to the people around here in Bone, so let's do that. You've come a long way from the south, but you can't go any further north because of the treacherous mountains. We actually spoke to that guy already. What about in here? Ah, there is an old er, middle aged man. There is Lake Fleece in the east, and someone claims that they saw a dinosaur there. Dinosaurs, you say? I happen to be a purveyor of monster hunting. However unskilled I may be. Now oh, talk to me, lady. A historian somewhere has published his theory that Lake Fleece and Lake Hargu are connected at the bottom. To prove the theory, a man went to the cave of Milto by Lake Fleece. He must have been out of his mind to believe such a story. I saw a dinosaur. Believe me, it's not swimming. Ah, that's great. Move out of the way so I can start a tab. I don't believe the story of the dinosaur. The rumor is unfounded and stupid. Don't pay any attention. To you or the story? Gotta be a little bit clearer on this old man. Old people getting confused. I thought my uncle said he was in Bonro. This is Bonro, right? Nope. What? I'm in Bone, not Bonro? Ah, thank you for telling me that, Mr. Demon Man. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Maybe... I found this when I got lost in the cave of Milto to the east. I don't know how to use it, but I'm sure it has something of value. I'd like you to have it. Yeah. When I picked up the remote control in the cave of Milto, I saw a strange man. I thought he disappeared through the wall. Ooh, spooky. Ah, we're past the season of spooks at this point. We're just on the layout of this town. The streets are too complicated. I know, right? Who the hell designed this place? I mean, clearly it must have been, you know, formed out of some fat... Born of... That. Yeah. Ruining my own joke. Formed out of some fashion to summon some sort of eldritch deity. Are you a traveler? You know... Did you know? Do you know you can get some antidote at the item shop that should remove the magic spell now petrifying you? It'll be a useful thing for you to have. That's not what antidote does. I bid thee farewell. Da 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 da! There's the house of healing. I don't think I've ever actually recollect anyone, all, any of the other apprentices, rather. Uh coming here now that I think about it. 
don't know why I suddenly thought about it. I just thought about it. A part of me wants to get a butt ton of mirrors. Uh, but that would mean having to go teleport to one of the previous towns, I think. Yeah. And by the way, I have a load of money. That is because I ground for s three levels. I was about to say six. Until I was level 26. Which, by the way, uh, if I have read the correct thing, I should be at the point where Legis has no more spells to learn. Level 26 should be where he learned the penultimate black magic spell. A vacuum too. I would have picked a better name for it, like, I don't know, Nuke. But then again, I guess that's already a Final Fantasy one, so... What do I know? Alright, that's all the bottles of fire. I'm only getting bottles of fire because at this point, my magic is actually useful. Where's the weapon shop? I'm new here and I always get lost in town. Well, it's literally right down there. Why don't you take a jump, old man? There are probably a couple of more people I could have talked to in there, but none that were of any significance. Now, fair warning, Vacuum 2 is loud and it's bright and it has ear pi piercingness, like so. Why Enix thought that this was a good idea, I don't know. But generally, I think that one of the easier ways to go about this game at this point now is to use that until you have no more uh, MP left. Use MP Catcher off of enemies that do have MP and then rinse and repeat. Now, uh, fun fact, as far as I know, there is actually nothing of value in this cave. Nothing whatsoever. Not even plot. Okay, I lied. There is plot. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of MP off these guys. Punk. These guys can get annoying. Actually, I nearly died to these jackasses a couple of times. Um, not remembering what what nearly killed me. They always had uh, some sort of. Balls to you. They also have M MP Catcher, which is really annoying. But MP Catcher is like the bread and butter of how the hell Legis is going to get through the campaign now. Seeing as he can now just suck up all that magical energy that people have. Give me your energy. <laughs> ah, that didn't sound evil at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Now we're going to punch this rock in the face. Hmm. Magic. See how effective this really is. At the, well, okay. At this point, I guess... I don't know. I'm, I'm always back and forth when it comes to magic in this game. It's useful. It sucks. It's bad. It's good. Because at this point... Ah, here it is. Because at this point, it feels like magic is kind of like a repost's worth of damage. But that might mostly be because, yeah, it might actually do more damage. It's just that, you know, not exactly the strongest when it comes to magic at this point. Which material on this wall seems to be different. Well, then why don't we use remote control? Wasn't really expecting a warm noise, but okay. Oh, hi there. Ah, finally, someone has found me. I've kept a secret for all these years, but since you found me, I'll show you what it is. This is a submarine I invented. People in the town believe it is a dinosaur. I heard once that Lake Fleece and Lake Hargu are connected at the bottom. I wanted to verify the story, so I built the submarine. I found that the story was in fact true. If you want to go to the north side of the mountain, travel underwater by submarine instead of trying to cross 
over the mountain. Would you like to give it a try? Let's go. You'll enjoy the scenery. Man, you would think of being the SNES, they would have the technology to make it so as they actually have a little animated sequence of them going underwater. Ah, this is the town of Dwayne. Okay, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I'm sure that someone has made that joke. So, you know, I'm stealing it. So this is the town of Dwayne, which if I recall correctly, yeah, this should be the field that Wilmy was being harassed as, like... Was he getting the harass or was he doing the harassing? We are talking about Wilmy here. No, I really don't know the story of Wilmy that well. How frightful he is! I want to stay away from him! Prices are getting higher lately. Ooh, that's right. The whole iron shortage... Th Wait, no. Iron shortage would mean that I'm in Baldur's Gate. Hmm. How astronomical are we talking? I mean, I already have the hope one, so I'm fine. Oh, they totally mean the weapons, though, don't they? Goods are scarce in the area between the dispute... Because of the dispute bef between Belain and Telain. Oh uh, boy, that's right. I remember messing up several times which place was Belain and which way one was Telain because of one simple letter. I don't have to worry that much about prices, do I? Because I'm mostly a spellcaster at this point. Technically, kind of, sort of. I'm a giant glass... Hi. I've encountered many Tessagen, but none of us remember our past. It appears that we lose our memories as we acquire new ones. Whew. Okay. That, that is just a constant problem when I think about the Tetsujin. Because they look very similar to one another, I think that all of them are locks. When you travel north, you'll find Belain, which is a large weapon producing country. I have to question why they focus on making so many weapons, but then again... In a world that is besought with monsters. Makes sense. The rune? I've never heard of it. Might find, some, find something in Belain or Telain to the north. Well, thanks for the information. I'll find, oh, okay. You might be talking about me. These were the people that were chased off by Wilmy. My son always brings home something strange. I... Oh, mm, sure? Fine? Are we talking son as in child? The largest town on the, conf on the continent is Brush, located west of this town. It's my dream to go there someday and... Find a job. Dude. If I could lay down some advice for people that are in a small town and wish to go to the big city for, you know, finding a career opportunity. Unless you're going to try to go into acting where those big towns are, you know, looking for actors. Or there's something of an industry like uh, artistry or something that you totally get into. Don't. I moved to Southern California to attempt to try to find jobs. I found only disappointment. Now let's get back into the fantasy world. Which reminds me of the real world. Oh god, I'm having an ex existential crisis on an LP. Have you heard of the dinosaur sighting at Lake Har Hargu? Tell you the truth, I've seen it. Yes, you saw a submarine. Congratulations. Hey, let's see what their item shop has. These have mirrors. Harps? Damn it. Neither. 
I'm gonna buy some potion ones though. I like topping off on HP, especially when I am in a brand spanking new area that I don't remember what monsters lie in. So either I'm going north to either Belling or Telling or east? Was it east? East was Brush. Hmm. I don't remember. Should I buy bottles of ice too? I'm gonna buy bottles of ice as well. Uh, I'm like buying a bunch of ice water. I'm gonna set that as my own head cannon. Just it's ice water being lobbed at your enemy. I only just realized too that I had accidentally set down the volume of the game significantly in order to listen to some music while I was playing this for grinding. Oh well. I thought you guys will probably able, be able to tell much of a difference. I'm surprised I even remembered. Wait, I just really quickly want to chest the uh, largest of the uh, west, sorry. West of this town, this brush. Um, you know what? Let's try to go to brush first. Because. Okay, there's a giant mountain in my way. Seems... Wait. No, it's not the town I was thinking about, was it? So, Esna, when she encounters that child... Nope. Completely wrong way. I've been duped by myself. So, Esna, when she encounters the child that gives a remote control, actually asks to be escorted. That's a sage. It's really not much of a threat. Asks to be escorted back to Bonro. And when you do, you will actually be given a free trip to a brain spanking new area. This is not that area. And that... Okay. I was kind of relieved for a second because I thought the game had forgotten to do that. Oh, man. Oh, no. The sages are worth a lot of experience, too. But they're easy to kill. No joke. I was actually able to kill them significantly easier when I had run into a couple. Ooh, red demon on the other hand. Are... Okay. Ignore me. I was a little bit worried. <laughs> for some reason. Wow! Maybe I should have waited until I came here to do some level grinding because I... Mm, that's going to be double. Well, I'm going to give up on brush. See just how far it is to get to the next area. Next, next area. Which is either Belling or Telling. Uh, quick and pea catcher. You jerk. You double jerk. Oh, having my defense like that. Uh, times when I wish I had a potion of vacuum. There's, there's no such thing as a potion of vacuum, is there? A guy can dream. Well, Belling or Telling, whichever is first, I'll be my recluse. Is that even the right word? Probably not. Another mage. Sage. Honestly, I could... Hmm. Can I? Fireball. Dang it. Okay, I killed one of the cocoons. And then it healed the other one. I'm not okay with that. How about it, Mr. Sage? Are you gonna run? I... I only have four. <laughs> God damn it. That's me constantly forgetting my own MP amounts. And that's why I seldom play mages. But it's a good thing I stocked up on herbs at the least. If I ever run into a singular sage or a singular cocoon, I'll go ahead and MP suck on them. That came out wrong. Hmm. 
whatever. I'm glad I can at least kill the manta rays. Don't you drain my HPs. Not blizzard. Thank you. Ow. Kind of wanted to get a little bit more off of him, but... Nope. I wasn't going to risk it with only 39 health left. Oh, I should have bought more potion twos. From here on out, it's going to be a little bit harder for Legis because Legis is, again, not exactly the most filled with defenses. He is essentially the glass cannon of all the characters. He has all the attack power. All the good magic spells. It's not really the magic to back it up all too much. Seriously, I would love to be able to be casting like two vacuum twos at this point. No. Ah, uh, should I focus on the red devil? I'm not exactly sure which one. Okay, at the least I can kill the sages with two hits. But they also have MP. And the Red Devil has defense ups. Great. You know what? Gonna go big or go home? Blizzard. None of them dodged, right? Glorious. I'll kill the Red de Demon. You jerk. You jerk! I was trying to prevent that. Like a small boss battle. It's all a case of who, which, why, what, who do I kill first? Can I kill the red demon first? Probably. Maybe. Okay, now I can't kill him with one blow. You know what? This looks like a job for recovery. We're running away, but I kind of want all the MP that I can get. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a great spell. I have that spell too. I'll tell you what, I got a better spell. It's called Vacuum. Well, I got two of them. That's all I can ask for, really. Besides, that lets me drain the magic out of this other one. I gotta tell you, playing Legends again, I totally don't remember playing, uh, remember how I played them back in the day. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I had se said several times, yeah, I remember playing them like this, playing them like that, but you know what? After witnessing these past few episodes and realizing, hey, uh, Legends is very much of a glass cannon. I uh, really don't know how the hell I managed to beat the game with him in the first place. At all. 100%. Like... The last two times I played this, for this channel, both characters ended up having less than 30 hours in the game itself. Whereas, I'm pretty sure that I definitely remember having something like 40 50, 60 some odd hours poured into playing as both Camille and Legis because that's, that's just how long it took to grind for those levels. I think that's kind of where I got my standard when it came to fantasy RPGs lengths because I never had a Final Fantasy as a kid. Like my, my very first Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy 7. Uh, oh, go ahead and run. I got your MP off of you. My very first Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy VII. That wasn't until 2000, or 1998. Right? No, 1997. One of the two. Game came out in 97. I don't think I got it until 92. Point is... Uh, it was... It was my very first game of 
you know, a Final Fantasy sword, so I really didn't have any other standards for role-playing games besides uh, freaking Breath of Fire 3 or this. Like, I, I didn't have Chrono Trigger growing up. I didn't have... You seriously, you son of a bitch. I didn't have Chrono Trigger. I had the likes of like Brain Lord and Vortex and oh man, Vortex. That's a game I gotta try to play again for this for this website. Vortex, for those that don't know, that don't know is I think someone's answer to Star Fox. It wasn't a great answer, but it was the answer that my folks had gotten me for my birthday or Christmas at some point. I forget which. Oh, there's the town. Uh, telling? I think. Hi, where am I? Belen, right? The Belens that decide. Hey, let's make twenty different weapon shops. But yeah, it, it was just this... It was this interesting game that essentially made Star Fox 64, but for the Super NES. Like, you had different levels that were based on flying in space, flying, uh, or on a planet, but you could also turn into a tank, or a jet, or a walker. It was fan-freaking-tastic. Freaking kid me, my mind was blown. I made this sword. Will you take it for 1,000 gold? Sure. Title sword shall be the name of this sword. Alright. Is it better than my 28 courage sword? No. I can hawk it though, so... That's a plus. So, yeah, sword, 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 sword. Random dude. We have many skilled sword makers in this country. Go and ask them to make one for you. Sword, 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 sword. Hey, an armory. Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn it. I sell armor. I'm, I'm glad that you do, buddy, but you ain't got any that I want. Hi, lady. Everything is more expensive now because of the price of ore production and telling increased. We manufacture many types of weapons and armor. No, you mostly manuf manufacture weapons. G get it right, lady. There's just too many. Diversify your people here. I better get some potion twos while I have it in my head. Ah. God damn. Damn says I, god damn. I always, I don't know, thinking about this now, I'm definitely finding this situation a little bit more silly. When I'm thinking about it right now, anyways. Just this one town that has nothing but iron, and then this other town that has nothing but weaponsmiths. The armor, arms and armor we produce are sent to Brush, which is a large town west of here. Now see, this lady says west as well, so... We used to be on good terms with Telling, which is on the northern continent, but now we have a problem. Iron shortage? It's the bolts. Telling you right now. Our products are sold around the world, isn't that great? Is that something really a child should concern itself with? The country in the north is Tulane. They have the necessary ore for making weapons. Good for them. This is the castle, Belaine. I guess. Yeah, okay. Boy, this is a big castle. Kind of reminds me of another castle. Of a recently usurped apprentice who had killed a king. Hello. King is angry because Telane increases the price of ore. Yeah, sounds like a right prick. If the situation does not quickly improve, we will be involved in a war with Telane. Yeah, that's kind of a you problem now, isn't it? Hi, Kingy. 
What are they trying to do by increasing the price of ore? Really? Got this big impressive looking castle and the only thing you have to tell me is that they're increasing the price of their ore. They look different from the other soldiers. Cats! Cause I'm a demon. Anyhow. Ooh, maybe they have a treasury I can steal from. We're gonna see if they have a treasury. Also, aren't, am I the only one that thinks... Oh, hello. Pearl? Can't take because I already bought some. Why do you have a trick in your treasury? Okay. Star rune, go. <laughs> Protect me. Okay, that does not hurt as much as I thought it was going to. Please don't have... Please, 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 please. Do not have... Vacuum. I will be... Tatted for the rest of my life if you have the vacuum spell. In fact... Vacuum. Damn it. I thought that was gonna work. Oh no. Oh no, that hurts a lot. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Let's try punching it. Punching it seems like a good idea. Okay. Okay. Cool. Punching it was a perfect idea. I, w I was trying to go for the quick and easy route to the success. K trick. I'm gonna ass assume that that means killer trick. Please don't have any more tricks. All right, potion two. Stop. Royal armor. Can I equip that noise first. Okay. Hope. Hope is at 12. Can't decrypt it. I'm selling that. Shite. Anger. <laughs> Once again, 12. Mm. 16. An armor increase. Perfect. I'm... <laughs> Why was there a trick in the treasury? Is there another treasury over here? Is there more tricks? Oh god, it's like a bad game of trick or treat. Except when there's mimics involved, it's always tricks. Alright, this was the prison. Okay. I miss my hometown. What is your hometown? You're an alien. I don't even know what it is that this alien did that piss off the king to the point where he would toss him into the prison, but, you know, I presume his hometown is that of an alien planet, seeing as he's an alien. You know about the man who lives here? He has the skill to create Muramasa, a sword for men that even a wizard can use. I am sold? Just point me in his direction. I'm gonna get out of this castle for fear of there being more tricks in the treasury. And then I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. When we return, I guess we're going weapon shopping because that's that's all that they have here in this town is weapons. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying replaying it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.